Hello guys, here is Shivli and you are welcome to my kitchen. Today I am going to cook potatoes and drumsticks together and the result will be yummy. It is a simple recipe but result is very delicious. It is very delicious curry to eat with boiled rice especially. So let us see the recipe. At first let us see the ingredients. I have taken drumsticks, I have chopped them and peeled them off and after that I washed them properly and then I took some potatoes cut them into pieces and after that I washed them properly and here are two tomatoes finely chopped these are the main ingredients now we have to make the masala that means spices mixture so we are not going to use onion and garlic for this recipe I am going to use mainly mustard seeds for the masala so I am taking one tablespoon of black mustard seeds you may take the yellow one there is no problem but do not take the small mustard seeds now I am taking some green chilies according to taste and now some salt. We have to grind them together. I am using salt and green chilies with the mustard seeds to avoid the bitter taste of mustard seeds. Now we have to run the mixer for a while. This is the texture. Now I am going to use some roasted peanut seeds for a thicker gravy. I have the powder, coarse powder so I am adding it. If you do not have it there is no problem simply roast some peanuts and add them. So now we have to add some water with it and after that we have to run the mixer to make a smooth puree or paste. So let us make it. Here it is ready as you can see that it is a smooth puree, a smooth paste. So let us keep it aside and go for the pan. At first I am adding some cooking oil into the pan. When the oil is heated well we have to add some cumin seeds. So I am adding half teaspoon of cumin seeds. Let the cumin seeds crackle well and after that we have to add the potatoes into the oil. So I am adding the potatoes. We have to fry for about 6 to 7 minutes on medium to high heat without salt. And after 6 to 7 minutes we have to add the drumsticks. So after adding drumsticks we have to add some salt to taste. I am mixing a little. I am adding salt to taste, half teaspoon of turmeric powder and very little quantity of red chilli powder. We added green chillies into the masala, I mean spices mixture. So you may skip the red chilli powder, there is no problem. But I really want a spicy curry, so I am adding some red chilli powder. After adding drumsticks, we have to fry for about 5 to 6 minutes again and after that we have to add the tomatoes. So I am adding the tomatoes and now we have to fry for some time until the tomatoes are soft. You may cover the pan but I am not covering now. I am just stirring the veggies on medium heat like this. And after about 3 to 4 minutes here is the texture. The tomatoes are nicely soft. So now we have to add water for gravy. If possible add hot water here. Hot water will give your curry a better texture and nice flavor. But I am using normal water here because I forgot to heat water previously. And keep the quantity of water according to your wish, your choice, there is no problem. Actually I want a thinner gravy so I am using a big quantity of water. And now we have to cover the pan and cook until the veggies are cooked 100%. And now the veggies are cooked very nicely, I am showing you while checking. Here the potato is very nicely cooked as you can see and the drumsticks, I am checking it, it is also very nicely cooked. You can notice it, it is also very nicely cooked and now it is time to add the spices mixture, spices paste. Now I am going to add a little quantity of water washing the mixer jar to avoid wastage of spices. So now I am adding some water as you can see it. After adding the spices paste we have to cook for about 2 to 3 minutes again. So I am covering the pan again for 2 to 3 minutes on medium heat. After 3 minutes I am uncovering it and the texture is very nice and the gravy consistency is also very perfect for me. I want like this. At the end of this recipe we have to check the salt. So I need some more salt, I am adding some more and for garnishing I am adding some fresh coriander leaves. Now we have to mix everything very nicely and our curry is ready. So turn the heat off and serve the curry hot. 
you have seen friends the recipe is so much simple and it's very delicious it's super yummy to eat with boiled rice so try this simple recipe at home and don't forget to let me know about your experience hit the like button friends if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching hope to meet you in the next video bye bye take care